Hey, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> so today we are taking the Audi for its uh, wrap job. Uh, sorry, it's been a long time since I've done a video on a car. Well, it's been about a week, week and a half. <clears throat> and the reason is I live in Dallas and there's not a ton of stuff to do every day on supercars and stuff like that. So to do daily vlogs, I have to do other stuff, you know, outside of cars. So I'm trying to keep it interesting for you guys, but today and a lot of the videos this week are going to be based on supercars because the Audi's getting its wrap. So we're going to go through the wrap process, but right now let's start this biatch up with the Capristo exhaust. about this wrap so i hope you guys enjoy it uh it's gonna make it look different I'm gonna make it look cool it's also the first time recording on the new sony ax53 uh so far i'm digging it i can tell no bats in the cave couldn't tell that with the other one but uh hopefully the video quality is good fingers crossed uh, other than that guys we're heading over to alpha graphics here in rockwall to get them started on this car. All right guys, so this will be the last time you see this car this color. It's going in, it's going under the knife. Hold on, there ain't no knife. Well, there is knives. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hey guys, so we're gonna go up and check out the progress on the car. I don't see them having a ton done today. And if they do, I'm not gonna show you guys right away. We're gonna do a time-lapse video on how they do these wraps. But uh, we're gonna take the M5, we're gonna roll over there and uh, get things going or see if they got things going anyways i gotta cut a lot of the parts out because the guys are upset that i made fun of them the guy's name is michael vick and then uh the other one was upset about the bicycle seats i probably won't edit it but i'm gonna tell them i did set this thing up on a tripod somewhere and get over here man jason wanted me in the video <laughs> all right what's the benefits we're here at Alpha Graphics. Y'all see the logo? The guy with his hands in his pocket, introduce yourself. Jason Harrelson. And Michael Vick. Michael Vick? Yes, the real Michael Vick. Hold up. Did you turn yourself white? Did the Michael Jackson <laughs> thing after you killed all them dogs? <laughs> this guy's actually a dog lover. He's a good guy. Hold on, this video was about protection. It's changing, it's changing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's the benefits of doing a wrap versus a clear bra or a ceramic coating? Vehicle wraps are basically, they serve two different purposes. You know, you have your commercial vehicle wraps like you see over here on this Tesla. Uh, basically to advertise something, some kind of business, that sort of thing. You also have the custom wraps where you basically you can take a vehicle, change the color on it, make a gloss white car, a matte white car, different colors, different styles, different patterns. The vehicle wrap, A, makes your car completely unique, and it also protects the paint. We have a lot of people that bring high-end cars in here to just do a color change wrap on it instead of a clear bra because while they're driving it, it doesn't look like anybody else's car, and it protects the paint on it. So therefore, if you get you know minor bug, uh, rock chips, abrasions, road rash, that sort of thing, the wrap actually protects the paint. So in two to three years when you're driving the car, you take it off, go back to your original paint job, looks great, brand new factory finish, or change the color again, do something different. What's your thoughts? 
You want to start a dog fighting ring right now? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it is. It's a good way, a unique way to change your car without having you know go through painting it. And it's temporary, so you don't have to settle on one thing. I mean, you can change it as often as you want. So a lot of people think you don't have to do much to these cars to wrap them. So on this car, you got to take stuff off to get the wrap on there, right? You it don't just magically go under the mirrors and over the grill and Correct. between it. Correct. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of technique involved, eye for detail. You know, you have to. So say ceramic coating. Would you ceramic coat a wrap, or would you just leave a wrap a wrap? I would leave a wrap a wrap. Now there are people that do ceramic coat over wraps. We don't offer that, so I'm not an expert but it's not your typical ceramic coating. So you can't just get on eBay and order some ceramic coating and think it's gonna to stick to your wrap. There's specific kinds that actually stick better to wraps. We've had companies come in here and have things wrapped and then they took it to a, spe a, sp a specialist to get it uh, ceramic coated. Uh, you can do it, but most people don't. Yeah. Most people just wrap it. And then how hard is it to pull the wrap off what do you need, say, you buy a car that's wrapped and it looks like shit. What do you have to do to pull the wrap off? Oh, and you can cuss on my videos. This ain't <laughs> Disney Channel. Well, it, it, it depends on how long the wrap was on there. It depends on what kind of material they used, who installed it, and how much sun, is, sun exposure it's got. If you got a wrap that's on there and it's got a lot of browning on it from the sun, basically like a skin gets sunburned, it yeah. turns brown, you start getting a lot of cracking in it, it's going to take longer to get off there. In some cases, the wraps are left on way too long in the sun and they actually become a permanent fixture on your car. Yeah. I've seen a few of them that have been out there for eight, 10 years in the sun and the, where the wrap's peeling off, you can look through and see bare metal because it's actually pulling paint. Because it's baking. Most of the, the misconception about wraps is it's not paint. You know, it's something that you want to keep indoors as much as possible. The more you wash it, the more you wax it, the, the better it lasts. But it is, a, it is a temporary fixture on your car. Um, but as far as removing a vehicle wrap, a lot of heat, a lot of elbow grease. Yeah. You don't go after your car with a razor blade. A lot of people do that. I've seen it. You want to use a plastic wedge of some sort. Uh, you can use an eraser wheel. Uh, but a heat gun is primarily your best bet to loosen up the adhesion. And then again, lots of time, lots of elbow grease taking it off. And don't use an eraser wheel anywhere where there's plastic. So use it on the metal parts of the car, your hood, your roof, your door, stuff like that. Bumpers, mirrors, stay away from all that stuff. Correct. What do you think? You want to put a pit bull on there? Make him fight? Yeah. No. <laughs> Mike's like an English bulldog. Yeah. <laughs> Making love. Should have never told him your last name. <laughs> yeah, you probably should have left that out. Mike, Mike's normally really talkative. I hit record and that dude, that dude got quiet. And then Jason's over there nervous, like he just got caught touching a little kid. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sniffing a little boy's bicycle seat. So today they're going to start wrapping the Audi R8, and it's going to take, what, three to four days? Three to four days. Take our time. Do it right. Uh, it's the only vehicle we have in here for the next three days, so that's all we're going to be working on and focusing on. Uh, I don't know if everybody knows this is a two-color wrap, but we're going to do one color first and then the second color afterwards. So basically going to be starting on the back half of the vehicle great now everybody knows it's a multicolor. that's right this is where you're going to start just your neck whole next thing it's going to blur me out like that. <laughs> Same it's just going to she's just going to be focused in on mike at this point i'm Mike's a i'm a crop in two dogs fighting over here in the corner. yeah the first so, thing we'll do is prep the vehicle i mean we're going to give it a good wipe down there'll be some clay bar Anything we want to remove, we're going to be taking it apart, dismembering it today, and then uh, hopefully so start signing Let's do an Alpha Graphic exclusive for the Pro Bowl now that you're a team captain. Who are you picking? What's that? Michael Vick. Oh. He's the Pro Bowl team captain. NFC or AFC? I'm picking NFC. Yeah. NFC. He, he's picking the Cowboys. <laughs> They're going to win the World The Cowboys are going to win the World Cup. So... This will be in here for three to four days, Jason and them. Jason, this company's done my business stuff for what, two years now? Mm -hmm. This business, the other business, a long time. Yeah, we've been working together for years. Yeah, yeah, long time. Jason used to come and do questionable uh, stuff at my old shop so he could put 
graphics on cars. Question. Question. It's legal now in most states. <laughs> you can do cocaine in California. <laughs> <laughs> we are professionals, Matt. Yeah, he's yeah. a professional, both of them. I am not a professional at all. <laughs> okay, cool. So, anything else you want to add? No. I'm ready We're just to excited to see this thing come together. Alpha Graphics and Rockwall for all your needs. We will be putting doing a reveal on the car and some time lapse video of the car getting wrapped. So you guys can see that stuff too. Uh, Jason and them do great work. Jason's the designer. Mike goes hard in the paint. And then that <laughs> chick over there, the crazy one, she has hedgehogs. Yeah, she's crazy. She don't know she's on camera now, but she's on camera. Look, this is the thumbnail right here. Alpha graphics. We'll just do, that's your thumbnail. The hedgehog. The hedgehog. Okay, so that's it. That's we're getting done, and your mama. It's easier to film when you're talking to people.